What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Imperator Rome Realms in uh, Exile campaign as Gondor and uh, yes we are carrying on from when we had our war with Mordor where we basically just destroyed a load of their land and made it uninhabitable um, while taking only a tiny little bit of land ourselves we might as well press play while we uh, while we wait for stuff to happen but uh, I'm Thank you very much guys for the support on the last video of this. I do apologize for the lack of uh, lack of content for this coming out recently. I've like said in one of my other videos recently I've been Oh, King's Game Gout. Uh, I've been uh, away and then ill. So uh, there's been just a lack of generally stuff coming out and I do apologize. Decisions I do not care. The old lines is maybe dead, but I am uh, not going to do anything about that. A banquet splendid. Um, yeah, we'll take the blank the banquet. Um, what was it? Decisions. What does it do? Because that's what I wonder. All the lines are dead, so it just doesn't really do anything. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really do a lot. It will also allow you to declare war on all lines once the current truce periods expire. Okay, so basically, okay, because I have truces with all these people down here. Yeah, it allows me then to declare war on them. So I, if I want to expand and take out like Cardland stuff, I do actually have to say that the old alliances are dead. Well, I'm not so fussed. I'm probably going to try and destroy Mordor, and then that will probably be the end because I'm probably go I'd really like to do a campaign actually like up here as the elves or as the dwarves, maybe as the e forces of evil as players like Angmar. Angmar would be quite fun, and then you go to try and take out some of these people up here. That would be fun, actually. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, we'll, I mean, we actually we can't afford to spend any money on anything. So, um, so yes, guys, if you're enjoying this uh, Let's Play, uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of the Realms in Exile. It's a great mod. Um, a lot of work being put into it, and as you can tell, I mean, it's just... It's just, all the models just look amazing. Look at that guy, for instance. I mean, he's a mercenary, but I mean, he looks so very good. He looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna go with heavy infantry morale because I mean, that's basically what the Gondor army is made up of is heavy infantry. Or well, I'm trying to make it be made up of. So really, I don't really need these armies in the west, but I mean, I've got them here anyway. I mean, it's unlikely that we're now going to go to war with Cardlan and other people. I mean, Arthur didn't say they'd join me. I mean, Lindon and Rudar would do the same. But I wonder if I uh, just pay the man. I actually don't have that sort of money. So I'm going to say no, I'm sorry. And that's now someone that's also now disloyal. So we're going to try and bribe him. Yeah, we'll bribe the man. There we go, his loyalty's up. Um... I could smear his reputation. Well, who is he? He's the gen oh, he's the general of the second army, and he's quite young. He's 83, which is actually young in this time. Well, in the uh, Gondor, because we all have Numenorean blood. Um, I'll go with aggressive expansion change. Bring that down. I'm not that it's really going up. I'm not really expanded anywhere. I could go for the war with Rovanian. Um, I don't have a Cassus Belli. And they're allied with a lot of people. Actually, no, I want to go to war with the Varigs I wanted to next. Varig Raiders. So we'll go for... What land shall we go for? I guess we go for... Could go for Kelka. We'll go for that. So that's that region here. We'll go for that. Take that out. Take that from the Varigs. And then we can do something else. Um, Modernise it. Um... Yeah, we'll modernize the army. Um, and then... How long is that going to take? It's going to take a little bit of time, but we can sort that out. We're improving our relations with our ally, Arthur Dane. I'm not quite sure why it's so low, but apparently it is. Um, we might as well move some of these armies back then if we're going to go to war with the Varigs. Uh, certainly move this Thousand Army back. Put that over somewhere over here. That'll do. Perfect, right. Oh, she dies. What age? Age 208. Oh, she at least lived a long time. Um, arrange, a, arrange a marriage. Uh, 
No, you're not that good. You're sort of okay. Yeah, go with her. Why not? Don't think it really matters at this point. Yep. Um, we'll go with conversion. Sure. Kind of want to... Uh, colon oh, there we go. Just colonized. Perfect. Right. Can I keep colonizing? No, surely not. It's going to take a little bit more. So I can co I'm going to gradually colonize my way and take all of what Mordor had. That's kind of funny. So... The, the orcs were like, oh, these Gondor settlers just appearing on our lands. Just get rid of them. Don't want them here. But I mean, have they really taken. They've. Barador has been re colonized. Because I remember that was not. Um, that was not. Uh, habitable. Tr this is troubling, yes. Well, the Dark Lord's yet to appear, and I've actually destroyed a bit of Mordor. So he better hurry up and appear at some point. I think he is in Angmar. At this moment, I mean, look at this, it's just numbers. Settlement of 918. It's because just a, they don't, the lands over here just didn't actually have names, I guess. That's just, that's kind of funny. Um, I mean, it's a lot of colonizable land for Angmar over here, I guess. It's kind of a bit worrying. I don't want an alliance with you at Cardlan. Um, so you could, yeah, just like go colonize all this and then go into Arthurdain. But I think you'd have quite a hard fight. Because Ruda, I, I don't know if there's any events that have to happen. I'll have to look up on it. I mean, there's only one start point, and it's taking a long time for anything really major to happen. There keeps the there's always the underlying threat that the Dark Lord's going to appear, but he's yet to appear. Um, can I colonize any of these? I imagine not. There's just a lot of land that's not being colonized. And I mean, like, it's Middle Earth wasn't this um, like. Desolate. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I'll just lose the popularity. We've got plenty. Um, so yes, I, I think I might do a campaign. Actually, to try and do a proper campaign as Angmar. As a... Well, I guess... You, it wouldn't be too hard. There we go. We have a claim on Kelkar. So we'll, we'll go to war with these guys, I think. They won't join because it's probably too far away. But let's just go in. Let's go and take Kelkar. Um, can I, oh yeah, they should actually just automatically join because they're a vassal, should Dol Amroth. Uh, yeah, I don't really care whether anyone else does anything else. I just want to kill the Varigs. I mean, it doesn't even really benefit me taking their land. It's not It's not Mordor. God, these guys are big. Are they... Oh, they're a migratory tribe. Okay, so they, they just do have a lot of land. Middle Earth goes on for miles. I did not know about like half this land. Uh, your attrition. Okay, we'll just go up there. Yes, we're at war. But do I care? Not really. Um, I, don't, I haven't even seen an army yet for about the Varigs. I could just hire these guys. But no need to. Um, oh yeah, of course they're a migratory tribe as well, technically. Ooh, so I don't know. We might not see any of that. And they're actually at war with the Nern as well. The Nern, Nern, who I have no idea who they are. Another Eastern tribe, so I guess just one of the Eastling tribes, possibly? I don't know. I don't know. There we go, we're going to go down here. Just take some of this land. Why have I not... Why am I losing this? Because I don't control all of Kelkar. Well, I'm trying my hardest. I've got quite a bit. Um... Yeah, this is all like a different region. Well, I can't. Yeah, I can't do much about that. I'm gonna go down here. Go down here and do deal with stuff. I don't know. Oh, we've disloyal characters. Um, he's imprisoned. Well, I could execute him. Well, that will just keep you there. I'm not really too bothered. Um. Blessings of wealth, please. <laughs> of course, he's not going to be dis uh, loyal. He's like. Uh, there's an initiated wide range of reconstruction of officers under his command. Well, it seems like that's a good idea. I mean, he may become more ambitious. Well, if he does, then I'll crush the man. He's not allowed to be. Uh, 
ambitious. We have other armies. We can crush this man. Unless he's... Yeah, he's not leading that army. He's not leading my 8,000 army. I can crush him with anything. Which one's he in? Tarion. He's in this fourth army. Which is not over here. It's up here. Again, surrounded by two other armies. He's going to get crushed. If he tries anything. Stupid man. Right. Let's just kill all these barracks, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm plus five now. I mean, there's not much I can do about it. No, yeah, no one controls the province at the moment. Because they're in the war. What are they fighting for? What's it for? To take Caversa? Okay, so they're trying to take a bit of land back here. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, they might be off to land back here. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Have they finished their war? They have. Oh, okay. They finished their war. Um... They finished the war. <laughs> we may need that other army. Oh, yeah. I lost that battle. Yikes. I'm going to need a bigger army. The 8,000 one's being mobilized. Oh, no. We won that. Excellent. Go over there. Where are you going? Yeah, you've just resupplied there. And then we can send you back in. So, we've now found the Varag's army. Uh, it's pretty big. <laughs> I won't lie. Um... They don't control it all, though. That's the thing. It's, it's, I control a fair amount of it. I want support for the air, please. Support for the air. Um, interesting. Oh, so I've, I'm ill. I've got an infection. A dicky tummy, some may say. Yeah, who cares? Oh, so they were just... So Nern was... I'm not even sure what Nern was fighting for. They might have been fighting for more land here. I have not a clue. Is their capital over here? This is their capital. I am not going over there. You'll not see me even attempt to make that. He says while marching the army back that way. A thousand men's not really enough. I mean, I had, this one's 1,300. Um, oh, I don't know. But I mean, we're going to crush this small army here that's just appeared. What a stupid thing to do. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, uh, you're one of my men. Um, well, I'm going to bribe you. There we go. I could just banish you. Or execute you. What's this? Tyranny. I'm just going to execute you. I don't care. Enemy of the state to me. You're a varig. They are servants of evil. I don't know. Yeah, they're pro they are the bad guys, sort of. They were part of the Eastling army. The Haradrim, they seem to be getting beaten up. They're getting beaten up by some small nation called Phileia. And the Haradrim are down here as well. What the heck is going on? Are these new? No, they're not Numenorians. Are these guys Numenorians as well? Because there are like the Pirates of Umbar, and I'm pretty sure... They are one of these factions down here. And then they have Numenorian blood because they are the black Numenorians. Are the, are they, they are. Oh, white piece is imminent? Why? We hold most of Kelkar. Actually, is this the set? Is this what? Yeah, that was the settlement that I needed to take. I needed to take that one settlement and look at it. It's shot up to 26 or whatever. Oh, and you're. Why is everyone losing? Support. Well, I'm going to bribe you as well. There we go. We captured him. I could have you flogged. I might do. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do it. Spend the money on it. Spend my money on nothing else. Um, yeah, We found more numbers. The regions of numbers. They don't even have a place. This world. Um, I wonder what I can get for the peace treaty right now. I'm not destroying anything this time, like Mordor. I'm not burning everything. I could take that. I could take that. I could take a lot of land, actually. Oh, I can take all that, though. Hey, I want that. 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 Because you give me that. And you give me that. No, you wouldn't give me that, though. Can I take some money? No, I can't take money, strangely. Why can't I take money? I guess it's not really a problem in this game. I don't need it. Uh, I might just go with that. 
you won't give me any more. I don't want any more, to be honest. I'm a great pa I'll become a great power. Well, that's no surprise. Did my alliance with Arthur Dane just go? Yes, because I'm now a great power. So I now have... Oh, that's kind of not great. Um, anyway, you do that. And you become... There we go. So we just deal with all them. Exiled armies. Well, you can... I don't really care about my desert lands, really. But I guess we'll look after them. And you go back to there. Oh, and the 8,000 army arrived. Well, a little bit too late, to be honest. You go back to the desert. Not to the desert. Back to Minister. Back to the... Back to the city. The White City. Um, and we've had... A child. Oh, he's a son of mine. Excellent. Well, I'll probably end up end up killing him, but who knows. Um, oh, you're the two that I'm trying to persuade to be loyal to me. Anyway, we'll just all get home nice and safe, and then we'll have another war with Mordor. Because I'm sure we can. Yeah, we've got no reason why we can't. Um, oh, they're allied with Nern now. Well, that's not going to happen. Um, is this pep? This is per Yeah, actually. Just do that, and then we go. Uh, then our stability goes up. Excellent. We'll do that. Now our stability is going up and going instead of going down. Because it's got to say a nice natural fifty. Apparently. Um, I want population capacity. I want one that allows me to. There we go. Training camp. There we go. Training camps. I want more training camps. Perfect. And then, what else can we build? Court of Law? No. We could, I guess. City of Provincial lo Loyalty? I'm going to put these in some of the eastern ones I've just conquered, I guess. Um, mill? Theatre? I guess I'll put one of the theatre over here. Aqueduct? Population capacity? Yeah, we'll put some of them around. Oh, there's been a civil war. I didn't even realise. Um, tax. Yeah, let's have a tax office. Let's tax some more people. You can always tax. Yeah, become friends with her. Why not? Um, we might as well spend all this money that we have. And the dwarves want to trade. We'll keep trading with the dwarves. They seem to be good, good allies. Uh, there we go. That'll, that's enough spending. There we go, we've got training camps, so we've got a bit more manpower maximum, but we're already at our, like, height anyway. We have a lot of legitimacy, which is good. I want support for the air, please. Uh, no one will uh, have anything else but support for the air. Right, we're nearly halfway in getting our uh, claim on Mordor. That's fine, we're going to just put the 8,000 army here, and it's just going to stomp. It's going to stomp anyone in his way. Um, we might as well also... We can't... I'd like to put a fortress here, I think. Just to stop Nern just sneaking through. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's put a fortress just there, please. Oh, no, that's not the right one. Which one is it, then? It's here. Why can't I put it there, then? Why can't I put it there? Well, we'll put it... I'll put it here. And we'll see what happens. This nation has fallen under the sway of the cult of Melkor. The majority of the population has been converted. In the this is troubling. And who else? The Varigs. Oh, brilliant. Does that mean they're all allied with Mordor now? If I declare war? No. That's so. Do they just become... Is their religion now just the cult of Melkor? I presume so. I don't know. Mordor has a lot of co cohorts now, though. That's a lot. I mean, not nowhere near as many as me, but it's getting there. I might build another large army, like a 3,000 maybe, to... Ooh! They've split! This is its own nation now. So am I... What? No, surely not. Yeah, they've... Are they having a war with Mordor? No, they're just an overlord of Mordor. What the heck? 
<laughs> okay, so this is now like a different orc faction. That's interesting. Disloyal provinces. Oh, great. Um, how can we sort that out? It doesn't like it because... Oh, let's see. What's wrong then? Due to Minister Thiel and Sirith and Gaul. Which are these two. Something about them. Probably their population. So I guess we... Oh, let's view population. No, I don't want to do that. I need just want to convert people. Convert. I should just be able to do it like... Oh, I wish I remembered how to do this. Um, people that are like actually managed to play this game will be like, "What the heck are you doing?" Um, it's clearly like this. Um, view pops. Is everything just like down here now? Culture and religion. Can I convert? Oh, let's build some stuff. That'll help convert stuff. So let's just press play. Let's get this doing its thing. Um, temple. State, religion, happiness. Oh, I can't build that, of course. Yeah, let's have some citizens appear. A new king! No, it's my king died. No! He died. The seventh army needs a new general. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll do. Khan needs someone. As it's, who's, well, a lot of the families that hate me. Um, well, a Solosian, yeah, you can go in. How good are you, actually, as a, as a chappy? You're not actually that great. There we go. If we put you in, that sorts the pop, the problem out. I do also apologise I am still sniffling away. I have, This cold will not leave me. And there's a revolt going on, a Ravanian revolt. So I actually need to start claiming on these guys instead because this is clearly how we're going to get a claim, it would seem. I don't have a diplomat. We have a diplomat en route. Okay, yeah, I know we do. That's why I did it. What a strange term. And disloyal characters. What well, bribe you? There you go. It's because you just lost your seat, isn't it? Or something, I don't know. Probably is. You lost your seat and you got angry. Demand support for the air, please. Who is my heir? Um, government. You're my heir. And you have. And he has kids. Good. Uh, I can't. I, I could plan the assassination of my own king. He's 13 years old as my. Valakar, what a name. What a glorious name. Well, slow promise. Oh yeah, that's now going up. Well, yeah, we don't care about that anymore. Let's see. Could we go to war with Mordor one last time? Possibly. I'm wishing away like something's going to change in this, in the time we have left. Who the heck are you? Oh, Kaz this is Castle Doom. Of course it is. Of course Castle Doom's there. Why did I think it was anywhere else? It just all of a sudden just seemed to appear. They're allied with Lorien. Have I got like a truce with Khazad Doom? Let's see. Imladris, the Varigs, obviously. Uh, I'm presuming that's like the Mirkwood. Um, that's the other elves. Yeah, these are all the elves. Okay, and there's another slow character. Well, I'll bribe him, I guess, but I mean, he's quite. Cor Actually, no, he's not corrupt at all. He's barely corrupt. Well, he's got some now. I just need to lose some, uh, change a few generals around and get less corruption, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be doing okay. Who are these guys? Another migratory tribe we could go to war with, but they're allied with a lot of people, including Rovanian. Yes, I was going to say, if they're a migratory tribe, that's wrong. <laughs> they definitely aren't. Oh, I could go to war with these guys. And everyone stop being converted by the, uh, by the horrible people that are uh, Mordor. We, we kind of want to get rid of them. Um, no, I won't, because you... We're about to go to war with you, I think. If we have time left in this episode. 
Ah, I do love Middle Earth. It is a beautiful and glorious land. To look over it just like this, it's just... I don't know, just being able to see all of it is pretty good. Oh god, the Cult of Melkor. So this is basically... Oh, I see. So this is... I see what's happening. Oh no. Oh no. So Mordor is eventually going to get eaten up by the Cult of Melkor. This? And it's down here already. Oh gosh. I could just... Can I not just declare what... Declare war so the Varigs and the Rakoth, whoever they are, where are they? They were down here somewhere. Weren't they here? Yeah, weren't they here? The Rakoths, where are they now? I'm sure they're still here. Disloyal characters. Your loyalty. You're the governor. We have a claim on Perth. M -yim -yim. Well, I could... Oh, you're one of my... Are you a brother? He's brother of the King of Gondor, yeah. I don't really want you to have... Give... Um, I don't really grant you a holding either. Well, I guess I could. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give you any land, I'm sorry. I'm going to... We could just make you friends. I could arrange a marriage. I'm gonna just bribe you for now. That'll do. Um, I'm just trying to find this. Where are these guys? Oh, they're up here. Oh yeah, this is all they've got left. Wow, how did I? They were like literally there. They were huge, and they've caught a Melkor. Obviously, just come in and like eat them up. The Nazgul have arrived. Okay, well we're gonna have to quick war with. These guys, I guess. We'll start this war and end it. Nice and simple. Let's kill these guys off. Um, so I imagine M Mordor. Oh, he still has a lot of le a lot of troops. Uh, it does actually. <laughs> it's quite worrying. Um, so where's those armies that I have down here? I really should probably have some more armies around, like in the no in the normal spot. Oh my gosh, that's a huge, huge army. We may lose this. Oh, yeah, like just like that because we're bur we're just burning everything. I don't really want to lose more stability. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Black of governor. Let's go with anyone, but let's just go with you. Just go with you. Are we just killing all the orcs in this like entire area? Oh, I just need to kill them all. Go on. Kill these bastards off. Right, I could just recruit another army. I'm making a lot of money. I'm going to do so, I think. Recruit some more units. Bang, 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 bang. One, two, three, four, five. I can't count all, all of a sudden. Um, do that, and then... Uh, actually, no, don't do them here. Do them, like, here. Archers. Perfect. And then some cavalry. We'll do some heavy cavalry. We'll do four heavy cavalry and that'll do. That's an army. That's an army. We're just smashing the orcs currently. I mean, we really could do with uh, some support from Dol Amaroth just to soak up some of the... Uh, soak up some of the damage. I mean, look, are they just burning my stuff now? No, this is... Oh, no, this is Mordor stuff. I'm pay payment to the territory. Um... I... No, I'm just gonna say the commoners are just the commoners are just causing a problem right now. I could banish this guy. Um, I might actually execute him. Yeah, why not execute him? He's kind of a problem right now. This is a this is Valakar here is a uh, he's a brutal king. Elder car is our next one. Oh yes, and we've got martial advances. Excellent, right? So we will. I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, actually, I can get them all. It looks like. Excellent. We'll take that, and then just mobilize all these troops here. We've got the thousand. This other army's just arrived. Oh my gosh, there's a huge orc army I'm trying to siege down my lands. Uh, let's not ha let's not have that. Um, form you all up into one. Let's have a nice army being formed here. Dior, take command. Right, this is going to be a huge fight. 
Kuminor. I don't know. What do I want? Anything for the old mo Yeah, just do that. Why not? How much more stuff's coming in? Can't be much more, surely. I think that might be it. So we're going to march everything here. The Siege of Orador 1. Why are we... Yeah, just... That's not... Well, let's pause. See why are we losing. Controls... The, I, they still control the province. Why? What's left? Oh, this, I guess, over here. Go over there and take that, please. So we'll take these thousand... Could 2,000 men beat 10,000 orcs? I don't know. We're going to find out in a minute. Possibly. I have the far superior... Oh, yeah, this is this could be interesting. It's saying it's going to be close. I mean, we're killing a lot of them. Come on. For the wide tree of Gondor. No, we've definitely just come short. We need like another thousand. Oh my gosh, we've won that? No. Oh no, we lost. No, that was another fight. That was the huge army. The huge army's just killing things over here. Why are we still not taking this then? We don't control the entire province, I guess. Oh no, that's, that's the province capital there. Just take that then. I was wasting my time. Um, well, we're regaining the regaining the troops pretty quick. We should be okay. I'm going to build some more training camps, I think. Build them here in the White City. Right. Yeah, I, was, I think I said here this was the White City earlier. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. I just want to win this war and then we'll end the episode. Right, so we just killed another load of men off. Surely that, that's ending... We control the province now, surely. I'm gonna burn the burn the province to the ground at this point. Um, yes, release the funds at this point. Just release them. Low food supply. Where? Oh well, here. Yeah. Well, they're, they're under siege. There's no. I'm expecting nothing less. Um, who are you? You're just a member of that. Well, you're getting bribed. There you go, you're sorted. Excellent. Right, war it is. Burn all their stuff here. That's what if if that's what's necessary, I'll burn it. Everything. If even if I can't take any land, I will burn it. I think I should be able to just execute you without any worries. Right, so we've taken that. Let's move on. How is this low food supply still? The population just... I don't even care. I can let them starve. It's sorting itself out, though. It's going up. <coughs> oh, sorry. I do apologise. Alright, we're winning that. Easy. Um, we'll take that any day of the week. Just burn everything. I don't even care. We surely hold the province now. There's nothing left of the province. I burnt it all to the ground. Yeah, and <laughs> look at it all. I've just burned everything west of wherever the heck this is. Right, go over there. You're gonna have to go and deal with this army. Deal with this army. I think I'm gonna. Oh, there we go. I'm probably just gonna wrap up the episode here. Sue for peace. I don't even know what I can take. I can't even take anything. Suggest. Suggest and just leave it and just. I can ask them to release. No. Well, yeah, I can ask them to release them, and then that's probably the best I can do. There we go. So I've asked them to release. That that's will weaken Mordor a bit more. Um, we'll keep that for now. I think um, I'm going to select this army. This one can go here. This one can now go back down to. I'm going to put it like here, in the south. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, I know it's a bit of a long one. But I hope you enjoyed, and if so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you later.